All right, well, there's definitely a fall chill in the air, and um, it got uh, really chilly last night. Maybe another one tonight, maybe. Oh, next several nights yeah. it is going to be cold. So if you have that one plant that you know you're trying to keep, but it's outside, <laughs> yeah. it's like, what do you do with it? Do we cover it? Do you bring it in the house if it's small enough? Yeah. Uh, we're going to be doing that again tonight. We're, we'll do that tomorrow night. We're going to do that next night. So let's get ready for it, right? right? At this point, there's not really much left in the garden. No, yeah. you know? I fear uh, some big box retailers, not going to mention any names, have a sale on mums. Okay. okay. Yeah, the people, I guess, are, you know, when the, the first like frost, they, right. they kind of like, listen, <laughs> we're toward the end, we got to get rid of these you, guys. You got to get them out because the Christmas yeah. trees need to go up yeah. if they haven't <laughs> oh. already been yeah. right yeah. in some oh, of these boy. stores. <laughs> let's, uh, let's walk you outside and we'll show you the radar first because we are tracking rain showers, Susquehanna, Wayne and Lackawanna counties. So we will keep the opportunity for a rain shower in the forecast. But here's the thing across parts of the endless mountains, it's already in the 30s. So there's even the chance that we could get a snow shower at some point tonight. The raindrops are falling apart through central PA from Lock Haven to Williamsport, Union, Snyder counties. These rain showers are going away and that will be the trend here. You can see not so far north of us, a little bit of blue showing up on the map and that kind of indicates to me where it is cold enough for a couple of snowflakes to mix into the equation. A lot of clouds on our live camera here in Scranton, but I do see a bit of a brighter horizon and it is a little bit brighter here in South Williamsport. Uh, clouds breaking up a little bit for some sun uh, before we totally lose it here over the next hour. It is 47 in Williamsport, 49 Bloomsburg, 47 Scranton and Wilkes-Barre, Laporte, 41 Stroudsburg, 49 Jim Thorpe is at 47. We will be in the 30s tonight, so that's why we have a frost advisory that's in effect. Again, like you heard us mention a couple of seconds ago, if you want to keep that plant, you know what to do at this point. It will be the coldest around sunrise. So by 8 o'clock, it should be near 40, 46 at lunch. Tomorrow afternoon, a couple of ticks either side of 50, and then we'll stay in the 40s. So a bit cold tomorrow evening. Our weather is chilly and rather cloudy because of this. It's an upper level storm system across the Northeast, the Great Lakes and parts of Canada that will be here tonight, tomorrow and Wednesday before it starts to move away on Thursday and then high pressure comes in. So that is when we'll start to see the changeover back to sunshine and warmer temperatures into the mix one to two weeks down the road. We are expecting, I would say, above average temperatures across a good chunk of the eastern part of the country. Now this is a little bit difficult to see, but I want to take you back to last Thursday. All right, so this is the northern lights. This is from Matt and South Abington Township, and if you can see close enough now you see the green, but you can also pick up some planes uh, there, at least their path across the sky. Weather at pahomepage.com. That's how you can get us your pictures. Here is your eyewitness weather forecast. Tonight cold, some frost around, a rain or snow shower at your house, mid 30s. Tomorrow mostly cloudy, breezy and chilly. Chance of a rain or snow shower. Eyes will be a couple of ticks either side of 50. Breezy and chilly on Wednesday. Again, a rain or snow shower. Slow improvement on Thursday, but Friday, Saturday and Sunday are looking good. Highs between 65 and 70 and sunnier skies into the mix going into the weekend. So not too bad. We just need to get past the next couple of days here. Yeah, uh, they're going to be a bit um, certainly fall like for mm. sure. If you haven't put the heat on in your house, <laughs> okay, if you haven't yes. done that yet, yeah. I think you may end up doing so tomorrow or even into Wednesday. I mean, when, when daytime temperatures are in the 40s, yep. mm, yeah. that's a I did it for the rough. first time last night. It was weird last night because uh, there was lightning and thunder and then, but still, it, you could, clearly it wasn't like your classic like right, mid-July right. storm. No, no. Well, there was a lot of weirdness going on yeah. yesterday. You had northern part of the state socked in with clouds and rain showers. You get into like 
Interstate 80 and Point yeah. South. It was yeah. sunny and warm. Yep. Then you get in my house it's thunderstorm at 10:15 at night. It's like weird. okay, so that's doubly weird. <laughs> and then you wake up in the morning and you're freezing. Right. Like, what is all right? <laughs> yeah, it's it's October in Pennsylvania. Keeping right? us on our toes. It sure is.